When we last introduced you to the students learning the trade at Malloy, a lot of excitement followed. Many people shared the story of how this company was partnering with state programs to build its future workforce. It's created opportunities for students like Eli Huber, whose Build Dakota scholarship is partially funded by Malloy, pays for his tuition at Lake Area Tech, and commits him to staying in South Dakota at least three years. Thousands of business leaders have now heard his story. I thought it was pretty cool. So this is a redo? Yep. So did philanthropist Denny Sanford, who watched the video and set it up with his longtime friend, Malloy owner Gary Jacobson, to pay a visit to the students. His $25 million donation matched state funds to launch Build Dakota in 2015. And I think it's a, a great opportunity because I haven't seen it one-on-one -on -one in any other operation. So this is a first chance to, to see it and see how excited the kids are. The students were quite excited about their newfound careers and the chance to meet the man behind the program. I thought it was pretty cool. I was actually really honored to meet him because I know a lot of kids that have benefited from his Build Dakota. That's a really cool thing he does. I was pretty honored. Fun meeting these kids who are excited about their future and, and the, whatever industry they're, they're in. And, they've, and they're, they're people that like to work with their hands and they're getting excited about uh, their future job opportunities and making some really big money and contributing to the state at the same time. So it's a wonderful program. We just talked about what I was doing and how I really like it here, Malloy Electrics. It's a smaller company, so it's more like family. You really have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with everyone, unlike a bigger business where you're just a number. That's an absolute excellent, excellent program. I'm extremely impressed with these young people. Jacobson says his business recognizes the need for skilled workers and the chance to partner with programs like the state's Build Dakota is invaluable. Malloy is just at the beginning of its lifetime so we need lots of young people to come in and work hard and keep industry and the city and the state region all operating and that's what we do. We keep other businesses running. And without these young people, we can't do that. Everybody's not going to go to college and become an MBA or, or the like. Uh, but we need, in South Dakota, we need the machinists and the people that can handle these kind of jobs to keep building South Dakota. Students like Eli will be part of building the state's future. And he says his scholarship was critical. First of all, it paid for all my tuition, so it took care of most of my financial burden. And it got me a, a job here, which is really cool. We're truly f thankful to Denny for all he's done to fund the beginning of the program, to get the state to fund it, to get industry to pitch in and fund it. And he's done a fabulous legacy job for many, many ways. Everybody in South Dakota has been touched by his generosity. We asked Sanford if this is what he expected when he invested in the idea a few years back. Okay. This is better than what I expected because I, because I see the enthusiasm with, with these kids and it's come, a dream come true.